For years, IT companies like TCS, Infosys and Cognizant were the lifeline for engineering students. Lacks of precious place, good pay, great lifestyle. A dream come true for many students. But now, that dream is turning into a nightmare. Hiring has slowed down, offers are getting delayed and worse, some freshers are asked to leave just months after joining. So what's happening? Are IT companies losing trust in freshers? And if you choose or you're about to choose computer science, then what can you do to secure your future? To understand the problem, just look at the numbers. In 2022, IT companies hired around 6 lakh freshers. In 2023, that dropped to 2.5 lakh. And in 2024, just 70,000. But this isn't just about fewer jobs. This goes deeper. Even the freshers who were placed, many were let go just after six months. Why does this happen even after they clear the interview? Take Infosys, for example. In early 2025, they let go of hundreds of freshers, even after offering them jobs. Why? As per the official company statement, they failed internal assessments, mandatory tests written into the offer letter. Now imagine this, you crack the interview, you celebrate, post it on social media, your family beams with pride, but a few months later, you are asked to leave. These freshers, were placed on probation for three to six months during which their performance was closely tracked and many couldn't clear the real test. That's when it hits. Getting the job isn't the real goal. Keeping it is the real challenge. Why are companies doing this? Because when a fresher fails, the company bleeds. They lose time, money and trust. A study found that just one bad hire can cost over 20 lakh rupees. Now imagine that happening with hundreds of freshers. The loss is massive and that's why companies are being extra careful. So when things don't work out, it's not just your loss, it's theirs too. So now they ask, can you learn fast? Can you think on your feet? Can you solve real world problems that do without handholding? If not, they let go quickly. But it wasn't always like this. Back in the 2010s and even during the post-COVID tech boom, the story was different. Startups were growing fast. Big tech was hiring aggressively. Freshers were hired in bulk, even if they didn't have all the skills. Companies were ready to train and wait. But today, the pressure is different. Technology is changing faster than ever. New tools, new platforms, is something new that comes out every few months. At the same time, companies are not just competing with local firms. They are also competing with global players. And clients, they expect results fast. No excuses, no delays. So companies don't have the time to train freshers anymore. That's why they need freshers who can contribute from day one. If you can't keep up, then they'll find someone who can. In school, if you fail, you still stay. In college, if you fail, you can move on and you can give your arrears later on. There's always a second chance. If you can't keep up, you're out. Not next semester, not after three warnings. You're out today. And it's not because the companies are cruel. It's just because the risks are too high. They can't afford to carry someone who isn't ready because the world won't wait for them either. That's why hiring freshers has become so much more tougher today. It's not because there's no talent, but there are too few who are truly ready. This brings us to a bigger question. Are students really ready for the job? In most engineering colleges, students sit in classes, take notes, write exams, and that's it. Because that's what students have been told. Study hard, get good marks, and everything else will fall into place. We grew up hearing it. Knowledge is power. And maybe it was back in the 1990s, when knowledge was hard to find, locked in textbooks, libraries, and classroom lectures. But not anymore. Today, top-level knowledge is everywhere. You can watch lectures from Stanford or MIT on your phone. You can learn AI from YouTube. Knowledge is no longer rare. So what really matters now? The ability to do, build, apply, solve and that's what companies are hiring for today not for marks not for your attendance not for your textbook answers they're looking for people who can solve real problems and think like developers but most students aren't getting trained for that and the gap is getting wider and wider even infosys co-founder mr narayana murthy echoes the same relax it's not about 70 hour work weeks it's about something that really matters we still are a long way off from a very important problem that the country faces, which is the ability to solve problems. The Indian mindset, thanks to the kind of schooling that we go through, thanks to the kind of learning by road that we do, is not as problem solving oriented as you and I would want. For example, McKinsey says that hardly 10% of our management school graduates are employable hardly 25% of our engineering graduates are employable. 
what that means is they don't come out equipped with the ability to solve the problems that their skill is expected to solve so the biggest challenge that we all have today is to inculcate a sense of problem solving in our schools and colleges uh, inculcate a, the spirit of critical reasoning the spirit of curiosity the spirit of problem solving i think once we do this i believe that we will make even better progress than we have done so far so what can students do starting now even in your first year there's a lot you can do way more useful than just reading textbooks start small write code every day try building simple real life projects try solving real life problems you'll make mistakes you'll get stuck but that's the point you'll learn by doing and over time you become not just a student but an engineer and that raises another important question will you even have time in college to do all of this a valid question with back to back classes writing long assignments and exams most students feel stuck should one give up all the fun that is college life and spend hours learning again after class hours and even if they want to learn more there's often no one to guide them along the way but this isn't just a student issue this is a system issue but what if engineering education didn't have to be this way what if students were given time right from day 1 to build code solve and learn by doing not outside classes not alone but inside the classroom with guidance with mentorship and with purpose imagine four years spent not just chasing marks but becoming a real engineer ready to build from day 1 because that's what engineering should be what do you think let us know in the comments